Good evening. We have gathered together to celebrate the life and mourn the death of Dr. Wilfredo A. Avilas. At the death of, King, of Abner in the Bible, King David said, Do you not know that a prince and a great man has fallen this day in Israel? And I think we can say to anyone who knew and didn't know Dr. Aviles, do you not know that a prince and a great man has fallen this day in Westlaco? Ms. Aviles shared with me that, that the post of his uh, passing has had over 650 shares, and that was of yesterday, probably many more today. Over 500 comments on the funeral obituary posting. She wanted this service to be about him and his patients, the community that he served, the staff that he had been with for 30 or 40 years, and their practice for 48 years to the community. He was always for the people, always happy and always smiling, and today we are gathered for a celebration of his life. Ms. Aviles wants everyone here to feel closure at this service. She wants everyone to feel that peace and contentment that he brought to everyone's life who came in contact with him. Now, she did mention that he didn't want a service. Very humble man, and she's going to go against his wishes. He was always a quiet person, never letting anyone know if he felt sick or felt bad. But God put him here for a reason, and that was to take care of people. And in her view, and I think many of us could agree, that he was the greatest man, a gentleman, and a perfect person. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for the life Dr. Avilas lived among us and the gift of knowing him. We pray for your comfort to abide with the whole Aviles family and the Wesleyan community as they grieve his passing. May the hope of heaven and the promise of resurrection fill their hearts and bring peace that passes all understanding in the midst of this difficult season. Amen. I would like to read from Psalm 103. I think it's appropriate as you hear some of the themes. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgive not, forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Dr. Wilfredo A. Aviles, M.D., was born on December 20th, 1944, in El Salvador. He passed away peacefully on September 17th, 2024, at Knapp Medical Center, surrounded by his loving family. His journey began with humble beginnings, yet he rose to become a paramount figure in the field of pediatrics, serving as a guiding light for countless families in the Mid-Valley. Dr. Aviles moved to the United States in 1972, where he was accepted into the prestigious John Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. His medical journey culminated in his recruitment by Knapp Medical Center in Wasico in 1976. He met Cristela Valdez. They married in 1978, embarking on a journey of not just love, but also a shared professional commitment to healthcare. Together, they opened their first clinic that same year, establishing a legacy of compassionate care that would endure for nearly 48 years. Dr. Aviles was not only a respected and renowned pediatrician, but also distinguished himself as one of the top three pediatric dermatologists in the United States. His expertise as the number one lumbar puncturist at Knapp Medical Center set him apart in a field where excellence is paramount. He was a dedicated practitioner who worked tirelessly, exhibiting a passion that resonated with his belief in a servant's heart. Dr. Aviles was an active board member of Doctors Hospital, Renaissance, Driscoll Children's Hospital, Knapp Medical Center, and the American Academy of Pediatrics. 
He was board certified, and his commitment to his patients was unwavering. His compassion was felt by all who were under his care. Beyond his medical credentials, Dr. Avilas was known for his warmth and kindness. He embodied professionalism, always presenting himself impeccably with never a hair out of place. And some pretty good dance moves I saw. These qualities mirrored his work ethic, detailed, classy, sharp, and unfailing, meticulous nature. He was generous to his community, often providing care pro bono, ensuring that no child was left without <coughs> aid or attention. Dr. Avilas cherished the joys of travel, often journeying the world with Cristela, creating memories that would last, last a lifetime. He held a particular affection for classic sports cars, with his beloved black Lexus affectionately named La Negra, capturing his adventurous spirit. A true gentleman with a romantic soul, Dr. Avilas loved his family deeply, valuing a good meal as one of life's simple pleasures. Throughout his life, he remained committed to lifelong learning, continually enriching himself and those around him. His love for his family was a cornerstone of his life, and his warmth and affection were felt by all who knew him. Dr. Wilfredo A. Avilas will be remembered not only for his outstanding professional accomplishments, but also for the warmth and humanity he extended to all. His legacy will continue through the lives he touched, the families he cared for, and the love he shared with those closest to him. Dr. Avilas is preceded in death by his parents, Jose Efraín <coughs> Avilas and Estanisla Menivar Galvez. Their son, Efraín Wilfredo Avilas, he is survived by his loving wife, Cristela Avilas, their children, Yvette Avilas, David F. Avilas, Sandra Gonzalez Tomas, Jose Armando Mandito Avilas, Myra, daughter-in-law, Mari Avilas, longtime friend and associate, Maya Lozano, grandchildren, David Jordan Avilas, Zoe Beth, Zoe Guerra, America Gonzalez, MD from Salvador, Britannia, Olivares, Adam, Italia, Gonzalez, Gabriela, Aviles, Michael Aviles, Christian Aviles, and three great-grandchildren, and numerous nieces and nephews. Amen. What a life, huh? Their song, My Way, was requested, and I think it's pretty hard to do it his way. He had something special, and so this is the great song, My Way.
when I told my wife whose funeral service I was doing, she said, Dr. Aviles? I don't think she's ever met him, but she's a nurse at Cuellar Middle School, and she said, so many of my students have Dr. Aviles on their paperwork. One of my colleagues, when I told her that I would be here, said that he was her pediatrician, and she immediately told me how wonderful he was and how he was always smiling. I think we can all agree that heaven is richer and earth is a little poorer now that he is gone. When I hear about who Dr. Avilus was and what he did while he was here on earth, I can't help but think how he reflected the love of God through Jesus Christ. Do you know that Jesus healed everyone who asked? More than two-thirds of his ministry was healing the sick. People would come from all around when they heard where Jesus was. They just wanted to be near to him so they could be healed. I would imagine once they were healed, they ran and they brought their family members and they brought their kids and they brought their grandkids over and over again so that they could be healed by Jesus. Jesus' ministry was only three years. I'm not saying Dr. Avilas is better than Jesus for 48 years. I'm just <laughs> saying Jesus was only ministering for three years. But what an impact he had, healing everyone who came to him. And that seems to me what occurred here with Dr. With Dr. Avilas. He was there for the people. He healed many people. Anyone who asked whether they could pay or not. And they came again and again through generations, bringing their children and their grandchildren. What a legacy. He was trusted by so many. He was a great man. Even now as he has gone to be with the Lord, we can celebrate his life, but we know that losing any family member is tough. But losing someone as irreplaceable as Dr. Avilas makes it hard on the family and the friends and the relatives and the community. So it's okay to feel sad. Mrs. Avilas said, we cry and then we laugh and then we forget what we were talking about. I imagine there'll be a lot of crying and a lot of laughter and a lot of remembering of who Dr. Avilas was and what he did. We know that he didn't want to have this service, but this service is for you and for all the people who were touched by him. I imagine if we opened up the mic, we'd be here till morning. And so we're going to keep it short this evening. But I wanted to read a few of the comments from the obituary, far too many to read. But you very quickly see the same things occurring again and again, getting to understand just how great Dr. Avilas was. We will miss you so much, Dr. Avilas. It was always a nice surprise when we saw him at his medical practice. I'm forever grateful for his kind, tender heart and always taking care of me, my children, and granddaughters. Another person said, he was such a good doctor for my kiddos, now 26 and 21. Since they were little, he will be missed. Another person wrote, kids are always scared to go to the doctor's office. I am so happy to say as an eight-year-old, Dr. Avilas would greet me with a smile and made me feel happy. So happy I would forget I was sick. Now I'm 53 years old and was sad to hear of his passing. All of my sisters and brothers were blessed with a loving, caring doctor. Dios les de fuerzas a la familia del mejor pediatra, pediatra que conocí en Hueslaco. Esperamos verle de nuevo en la resurrección. I had the honor of having Dr. Aviles as my pediatrician and even a greater honor of having him as my daughter's pediatrician. He was an amazing and wonderful man. He will truly be missed. Dr. Aviles was my pediatrician growing up. He was truly the best and he will be greatly missed. He truly inspired me to pursue my career in healthcare. May he rest in peace. He was an amazing pediatrician for my kids who are now in their 30s. Thank you so much for everything you did for my children. Dr. Aviles was my pediatrician growing up in the Rio Grande Valley. He identified my appendicitis that saved my life. 
He was a good doctor and a good man. He will be missed. Thank you, Dr. Avilos, for your hard work. You delivered my son in 1990 and my daughter in 1995. Rest in peace. Dios te tenga en su santa gloria. Fuiste el mejor doctor de cabecera de mis ocho hijos, incluyendo mis nietos. Gracias, Dr. Avilas, el mejor doctor. Dr. Avilas, what an awesome and wonderful doctor he was. He made my oldest baby boy laugh and made sure he was not in pain whatsoever. Rest in eternal peace. You will be missed always. I had the privilege of working with him, always cared for his patients and loved his work. A wonderful human being has gone to be with the Lord. Rest in peace, doctor. You were such a good doctor to my children and grandchildren. Since 1990 that I took my son for the first time, to this day he saw all my grandchildren. May you rest in peace. Dr. Avilas was a kind, good-hearted, outstanding doctor. He was my kid's doctor for many years. His office was always open to take care of our babies. He was always available to help the TMC Migrant Head Start Program children and office staff. May he rest in peace. My deepest condolences to his family. I worked at NAP, NAP for many years, and I would always see him with a big smile. He walked into the streets of gold when the heavens received him. I was deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Dr. Avilas. As my childhood doctor, he had a profound impact on my life that I will carry with me always. Just being in his presence and talking to him was medicine and healing in itself. That's the kind of doctor he was. Dr. Avilas was truly one of the best, passionate, caring, and attentive. He made every encounter feel special, treating each patient with respect, kindness, and full attention. His ability to make people feel better, not just physically, but emotionally, was a gift that touched countless lives. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family during this difficult time. His legacy will live on in the hearts of all who knew him, and his memory will continue to inspire. Amado hermano, fuiste de lo mejor conmigo. Tú me diste muchos consejos y me orientaste. Me ayudaste en momentos difíciles. Fuiste un maravilloso hijo de nuestro padre, cumpliendo su voluntad de estar al pendiente de tus hermanos. Dr. Avilas was an amazing person who cared for his patient's well-being. He was mine and my sister's doctor and even my oldest son. The world has lost a huge medical professional. Since I can remember at a very young age, he's been my doctor, always so kind and knowledgeable and patient, and occasionally cracked a few jokes to make me laugh. He will definitely be missed. My deepest condolences to all close friends and family. I just can't believe it when my daughter told me he had passed away. He was a great doctor, very friendly. He was my children's pediatrician, my grandchildren's pediatrician, always down to earth. Once in a while, made a few jokes. Very nice doctor. Dr. Avilas was a wonderful person and physician. His bright smile and positive attitude were contagious to everyone around him. I had the privilege of knowing him growing up as my pediatrician, and then later in life as a professional when I opened my therapy clinic. He was a pleasure to work with. May his wonderful memory serve as a source of peace and strength for his family at this time. Mrs. Avila said, these are who he were. This was who he was as a man. Death is a great enemy that sometimes comes suddenly and sometimes sneaks up on us slowly and robs us of our youth and vigor. But death, unless Christ comes first, will come for us all. As I said already, it's okay to feel sad, but it's also okay to feel joy for those who have faith in Jesus Christ, have the promise of a new resurrection. In his second letter to Timothy, the Apostle Paul writes these words, and it fits well, I believe, as a description of Dr. Avilas. But you, keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge the duties of your ministry, for I am being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 
Now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Dr. Avilas discharged the duties of his ministry of healing. He poured himself out like a drink offering to this community. And I know him more than most can say, he fought the good fight. He finished the race. For all of those who have faith in Jesus and long for his appearing, can alongside Dr. Avilas be awarded the crown of righteousness on that day. My friends, Jesus through his life and through his death and resurrection, has ushered in a kingdom of eternal life through God and the promise of resurrection that gives us hope even on a sad day like today. In Christ, the perishable will put on the imperishable and our, mo our mortal bodies will put on immortality. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, death is swallowed up by victory. One day all that is broken will be made whole. All that is crooked will be made straight. The promise of God is that in Christ there is coming a day when every tear will be wiped away and there will be no more sickness, no more pain, and no more even need for healing because Jesus Christ will have healed us all in his presence. We look forward to that day. But until then, we look for men like Dr. Avi who have taken the mantle of healing in our community. Men who serve faithfully for so many years. In the meantime, let us run the good race. Let us serve the Lord with whatever gifts we have been given so we may finish the race. Let's pray together. Holy Father, thank you for the life of Dr. Avilas. Thank you for the promise of resurrection and your presence even as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Thank you for shepherding us through this difficult time and shepherding the good doctor into the presence of the great physician. Thank you for this beautiful community who has been served so well by such a great man. Help us to continue to honor his legacy, and serve also, so may others may see your love in us. Comfort this family. Comfort this community as we grieve. Thank you for the story of loving, care, and tender mercy you are writing and allow us to be a part of. Thank you for Jesus who defeated sin and death and who travels with us throughout this life and promises resurrection to all who follow him by faith. Help us to walk away from this place with a renewed commitment to honor and to trust you in everything. May we, too, fight the good fight. May we finish the race. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Does anybody want to get, get up and speak about the okay. good subject? Yeah. Just share with the family.
If, if you'd like to share your memories with the family, that we, yes, they sir. would appreciate that. Okay. With that being said, I can't hear my usual. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> with that being said, this concludes the celebration of life for the good doctor this evening. Uh,